Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and have you ever had a girlfriend say to you, it's not me, it's you? Well, that's extremely rude, and you shut your mouth. However, it's very applicable to the shotgun situation in Battlefield 4. Now granted, I understand that we don't have a full picture yet, because we don't have access to all the shotguns. We only have access to two in the beta, which include, I call it the Quibs and the 870, which of course encompasses the QBS and the 870 Modular Combat Shotgun, or MCS. And I think the first thing that we can all agree upon is that they sound outrageous. Granted, I have a little bit of a, bit of a bias. I think the QBS or the Quibs sounds a little bit cooler than the 870 MCS, but I, the sound design on both of them is extremely well done, at least if you ask me. However, I can't say they're very effective in all capacities, starting with the Quibs and... BAP! Give me a little sandwich, dog. Oh my god, just lay down on the floor and just think about what you've done, Carl. Think about what you've done. I, you, you better lay there for a solid five minutes because that's just the thought that you just got bopped in the nose and then stabbed in the neck is going to need to marinate in your brain, if whatever's left of it. But starting with the quibs, this is what I like to say. It sounds extremely cool. It sounds like you're firing the coolest Terminator gun that you've ever seen. However, it's not very effective. Even in Domination, it's really, really restricted to a very, very close quarters environment. Even a close quarters environment like this, it doesn't always thrive, and that's two major downsides that contribute to this. So number one, the capacity is extremely low. Usually it takes two to three shots to kill somebody, and with only six rounds in a capacity, it's, it's not ideal. I have to say it's not ideal. And I think the second part of that is just, you could say damage if you want, but the way that I'll state it is just range. It doesn't have enough range for how much, for the number of capacity, like the capacity of bullets and how quickly you can fire it, I don't think it has enough range. Like you'll see, it'll take three or four shots. I guess this is a bit of an exception. Like it's, it'll still take two or three shots for me to kill this guy. I think that was a bit of a fluke. Most of the time, it's gonna take you quite a few rounds. Like one, two, three, three-ish, four. It's, I just think it's too many rounds and it just doesn't have the range that it should for a shotgun. I think the 870 is far superior, however you can make it work. Obviously I put on, I put on the little duckbill attachment, it's one of the barrel modifications that you can have, and I understand what DICE was going for here, they were kind of going for, let's say you see a cluster of enemies and you want to take them all down, instead of having to pick them off one by one, you could just spray into all of them and damage them all at once with multiple rounds and try to kill them that way. I understand the idea and the logic behind it, I just don't think it's as effective in general as compared to just the regular standard barrel. As you can see right there, oftentimes you just taking on single guys, unless you're really, really close, the duck bill is, yeah, you can go really hardcore and it can be kind of a novelty like quack quack mother, but I think overall in terms of performance, it's not extremely effective. So moving on to the 870, I can say that this is a much more effective shotgun if you're looking for a shotgun. Granted, yeah, you get moments like that with the cloth monster running around. And at least right there, it seemed like, yeah, you get a full burst. You get a full spread right on the guy's chest and he doesn't die. You got to hit him in the kneecap a second time. That happens sort of frequently, but I like to think that in general, you'll be much better off in terms of buckshot versus slugs. I will explain why in due time, but I like to think that overall, the 870, at least in terms of having a shotgun, much, much better than the, the quibs. I'd like to also say the quibs, I think it'd be a little bit easier if you're a novice. Like if you're a real beginner and you're not used to shotguns at all and you're not extremely twitchy and sort of reflex oriented in close quarters, I think the I think you can make the quibs work for yourself. I think the 870 is a little bit more difficult to use, but I think overall both of them are fairly easy to acclimatize to, if you will. But the one little exception that I think a lot of people have been talking about and muttering about is that buckshot is so much better than slugs and the reason is I'll, ex I'll show you visually in just a few seconds here but basically here is the major major drawback about the whole thing that I was talking about in the intro in terms of the girlfriend and it's not me it's you as in it's not you it's about your enemy it's about what he's running and what I mean by that specifically and of course I use the duck bill here but Here's the point that I want to make. Here's what you really got to take away from this in terms of the shotguns. If you listen to anything, listen to this. The shotguns, at least with slugs, and I, I guess with buckshot as well, but majorly with slugs, they are very, very, very terrible against anybody that is running a defensive field upgrade. Like, look, slugs, 
I can shoot him directly in the chest, point blank. I will not kill him if he's running defensive field upgrades. Most of the guys do, at least in my experience. So you'll see in this little highlight reel in a few seconds that, I mean, that's the difference. That's buckshot at the same range. He's still running defensive masteries, and I can still kill him one shot with the same spread. That's why I think Buckshot is superior. Even one kneecap with Buckshot. If you hit the entire spread in his kneecap, he's going to die. Even with defensive, I keep wanting to say masteries, but it's technically defensive field upgrades. Granted, you can kill him in one shot if he's running offensive field upgrades, but I think the majority of people are running defensive field upgrades. So just, just because, look, here's what it really boils down to. You have to shoot the guy in the head or in the face to kill him with one shot. Obviously, Keo was using... It even kills them in the arms. Like, if you shoot him in the arms with the offensive upgrades, you can still kill him one shot. But the real kicker is that you have to hit the guy in the head in order to kill him with one shot if he is using defensive field upgrades. That's it. That is why there's so much... I feel like there's so much potential for slugs, and yet again, right here, this little string, he's always using offensive upgrades. But just the fact that you have to get a headshot to kill the guy in one shot, which is really what shotguns are designed for, and that's why they're used, that's what they excel at. I mean, granted, I got a little bit lucky there, but that's the real downside to slugs. I think if you're really going to want to run and gun, and you're going to want to use the 870, I say buckshot all the way, simply because... So many guys are running defensive field upgrades that you're going to get so, so frustrated about some guy popping out of an elevator, you hit him square in the chest, and that guy, that's just one example, he just happened to be running the offensive field upgrades. But I think so many guys will catch on and just switch to defensive field upgrades that you have to either hit him twice or hit him in the head. That is extremely difficult to do consistently with multiple enemies. So that's the real kicker in terms of why slugs are not as effective in this game. That was my whole point of it's not me, it's you in terms of the whole girlfriend reference. It's pretty much, it's not about your skill, it's oftentimes about what the enemy is running in terms of if he's running defensive field upgrades, you're kind of boned when it comes to slugs because you got to hit the guy in the face or the dome piece to get a one-shot kill. And that's why you use shotguns, you use them for the instantaneous killing power instead of damage over time. I think that's the real reason why. So... Hopefully you've tolerated my whole rant about why shotguns are not as effective with slugs and why I think it'd be a good idea to change it, but even if they keep it the way it is right now, I'm still content with using slugs. Kind of. I think I'm probably going to stick with buckshot once the game actually releases if they don't change it, but I'd just like to inform you exactly how all that worked. I know I'm a bit of a Carl in terms of a lot of shotgun accuracy, but at least I can inform you exactly how... The shotguns have now changed, so I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later.